Django has a lot of built-in validation for its fields. So when we render out a Django field or a Django form, we actually can submit some data and Django will check to make sure that data matches that built-in validation. So like if it's a number in the decimal field, for example. But there's a lot more things that we can do than just what's built in, and that's what we're gonna do in this one. So if we take a look at the model form, which is now what we're gonna use, I'm gonna show you that it's really simple to override the field themselves, right? So if I actually bring this title in over here, I see that this is the same name as that one. So that's actually how you override what comes in by default. Kind of a cool little feature to have. Um, so now what hopefully you realized, and I did mention in the last one, but now these forms are actually identical. They have the same three fields. The only thing that's different is how the view handles them. That's it. But we're gonna go back to using that product form itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment out all of this and we'll come back into our original product create view that we were using. Okay, um, so what I have here is a shortcut method to what I did up here, right? So that request post and then render these things out. All this does is renders out that form if post data comes through, otherwise we'll just render out an empty form. That's all that's going on that right there. Okay, cool. So now that I understand that, what I wanna do is just take a look further with this is valid related stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look, make sure my form is coming through. I refresh in here and I've got my price, my field is required. So it's possible that I might need to save a few things here. Let's make sure everything's saved up. We've got our forms, there we go. And we refresh, our title goes away and if I go back on the create, it shows me that I have my placeholder there. So yes, I could absolutely just copy all of these things in here as well. And once I do that, I have a more robust form in the sense of how I want it to look and almost how I want it to work. So, so when you do this, you realize that you did change quite a bit and yeah, there's absolutely shortcuts to doing this. There's third party packages that do a lot of this stuff for us, which we're not gonna talk about yet because it's getting a little bit too advanced. But instead what I'm gonna talk about is like, what if I want my title to be, you know, to contain a certain word? Let's say I wanted my title to contain CFE, right? So that word itself or that those initials itself. What I need to do here is come in and say define clean underscore then my field name. So whatever field that I'm gonna be grabbing the validation for, this is what I wanna do. Clean title, right? So I wanna make sure my title has a specific item in there. So we just say self and we can do args and keyword args. Those are probably not necessary, but oftentimes if you're not sure when you override something, just make sure you put args and keyword args. So to get the actual title itself, we do self.cleaneddata.get title. Okay, so this is gonna get the default title. This is gonna get the post Django form cleaning. So Django will clean the form itself initially, and then it's gonna trigger this title. In other words, this is not overriding required, for example. That required will absolutely still be in there. And to validate this, we just are gonna go ahead and say if title, or rather if CFE in title, then we'll return, well, do we wanna do it this way? Right, so let's let's just do the logic first. So if, if CFE is in the title, then we'll return that title, so whatever that default is. Otherwise, we'll do forms dot, or rather raise forms dot validation error this is not a valid title. Okay, so we save that and let's take a look. Refresh in here, I'll say ABC, hit submit. Hey, this is not a valid title. There is our validation. It's really, really simple. I mean, it's not that advanced or that complex. Now, of course, I actually wouldn't write it in this format. What I would do instead is say, if not in that title, then raise the validation and the default returning that title. 
Now the reason for this is so I can have multiple validations if I wanted to, if um, news is not in the title, not a valid title, right? So ABC space, we got two not invalid. Well, let's actually save and refresh this. Let's, let's do that again. So I say ABC, I hit save. I've got, this is not a valid title. Okay, so right off the bat, it will raise that one. Now, assuming that I put CFE in here like that and hit save, again, it's gonna say not a valid title. So it would have to validate all of these conditions that you might have. And of course, these aren't realistic ones for a title. This would probably be more realistic for like an email. So let's say for instance, if I did clean email and we did email, I'll, I'll throw in this email in just a second, the actual field itself. So um, let's just go ahead and say if not, or rather if email ends with that edu, or if not ends with edu, then we'll do raise forms.validation error. This is not a valid email. Then we can return that email. And since I'm doing this, um, this is a new little feature that you might end up using is you could say email equals to forms.email field. Notice it's on the model form. It's certainly not on the model. So I can refresh in here. I got my email field in there. I say abc at gmail.com. I hit save, not a valid email. So it's pretty cool. Validation is fairly simple and then you can run, you know, any sorts of validation things on here. Now, I will say that doing validation is not only on a form, but since we've been working in these forms, it's a really good way to introduce validation as a concept. You can absolutely do validation on the fields for a model as well, but the idea for validation works whether it's a model form or just a standard Django form. And what you should see, or hopefully this pattern that you're noticing is that if I commented this out and changed this to a form, the form itself will render the exact same. All of the validation will render the same, all of that. But of course, the one caveat is how the actual form would work in the view. It is slightly different. So if you have any questions on validation, please let me know. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to get everything. We're going to be doing so much more Django stuff and stay with us.